Well, hello. This is McLaren Vale. This is one of my favourite little haunts on the left. It's, um, it's the bottle shop. God, this feels weird. I've got new tyres on and they don't feel at all normal because they're more of they're a 50 50. I didn't fit the tyres. I was going to have a crack at it, but with broken ribs, I thought it might be a little bit hard work. So, this is my first ride back since I fell off up in the Flinders and landed on them rocks in that creek bed. See previous video. Bike's not been out for a couple of weeks. I need to bed these tyres in. Now, anybody who thinks you don't need to scrub tyres in these days and thinks some, some people think it's a bit of a myth, watch a video, I'll put a link up in my top corner um, of Mr. TPR and his very unfortunate situation with his brand new Suzuki that he'd bought. He was probably about a kilometre and a half away from the dealership and you won't believe it. You've got to watch this. It's unbelievable. He was so unlucky. And there's proof right there in his video that you do need <laughs> to be scrubbing in your tyres, in my opinion. Now, today, as you can see, that's my little town. I'm on new tyres and I'm just going to go very <laughs> steadily. I've, I've literally not ridden for two and a half weeks and I'm absolutely chomping at the bit to go for a spin and just bedding these rear brakes a little bit. Nobody behind me, someone's on the brake there. It's nice to be on the bike. I've got no screen on the front. You might be able to see that. Where's my camera? There it is. That's gone away for a lovely wrap. So what I'm trying out. Um, now, this is McLaren Vale. Look how beautiful this place is here. And it's full of vineyards. And every single vineyard has a cellar door. And each cellar door, I'm telling you how many vineyards they are. There's, there's dozens and dozens of them. And it's beautiful. It's one of the best wine regions in the world. Serafino. Um, all these vineyards growing grapes look look at this starting to come out is some of these uh, vines here they're starting to show some uh, foliage till down it down here this is sand road it's a bit quieter <laughs> a bit quieter it's nobody about one of my favorite spots which I spotted not long ago is a white kestrel up here hovering Australian kestrel sorry Three and four, they're white underneath, not like the British ones. And it's because of this bright sky they've evolved to have a white underneath so they can't be seen. It's cool as. I, lo I love that evolution. It's a bit white, a bit like what Billy Connolly talks about, the wombats. How their pouch, because of the marsupial, their pouches, they because they dig a lot, they had to have their pouch upside down, because what they were doing of course, if it was the right way up, like a kangaroo, was when they were digging, they'd just be filling the pouch full of crap. The little baby one, but I'd be like, what the fuck? So the pouch is upside down. It's just evolution's awesome, isn't it? So yeah, let's talk more about these vineyards. And there's, there's loads of them. They've, they've all got cellar doors, and they've become basically go-to areas over the years. On a Sunday afternoon or a weekend, and it's just beautiful. They're putting on fantastic food, fantastic views fantastic facilities and you just sit there in a dream world it's just stunning i love this place i love mclaren vale um i feel so blessed to live here uh, the wine shed conti estate now we came here i'm just going to show you up here how beautiful it is these are the vines they're starting to get a bit of foliage now it's obviously coming into spring and uh, you've got all this veranda at the back oh, there's people there look Oh, beautiful and you get all these outdoor areas to sit or you can sit inside and it's just stunning Conti Estate Vine Shed McLaren Vale that's what I'm going to do I'm just going to spin around this is not the most beautiful place surprisingly even though it is beautiful there are some incredible spots here not knocking this is one of my favourites though we came as I say came a few weeks ago and it was winter but the sun was out and it was a bit cold so we sat outside next to a fire pit with the dog and Mrs. Ryder guided and we were just like 
Oh, where, actually, that was the day we decided to move down. Look at that beautiful place here. This is stunning. Beresford. That's a famous one for you. Oh, that's stunning, isn't it? Look at that. Let's just stop here and have a quick look through there. Beautiful spot. Beresford Estate. That's a famous one around here. It's one of our favourites. It's nice to actually have a drive around and see where our favourite tipples are being produced. I'll tell you a little bit about the wine that we have in Australia. It ain't cheap, but I'll tell you what. It might not be cheap, but it's bloody good. Right. Oh. I just love it here. Just different vineyards everywhere and tastings. Jeresa Estate. That looks amazing. All their wines, all their grapes. Right, I told you what I'm going to pull in. Just scan the horizon. I'm going to take you to Dannenberg. Let me just uh, find a decent place to stop. It's just blue it springs road. I'm just going to pull in this gravel section here. And I'll just put in Dannenberg wines on my video. And I've got to be careful here because I've got broken ribs. Right. Nice and bimbly on these new tyres. Right. You can see the mapping on here. We're on it. All these vines just straight as. Look to me right here. It's it's a fantastic industry, isn't it? Wine industry. <laughs> Set the spirits open. Right, that's just down here. So this is a gin spot. Yeah, look. So you'd park up there and come in here. This is a bar on the hill. Oh, what a place. Might come up here tonight. Right, let's do a turn around. shit myself then, how ridiculous. That's what broken ribs do to you, you're just like, oh, I don't want to drop it here. Careful. And um, just got to trust you, this is a freaking steep hill. So this is Settler's Gym, this is uh, a little bar. So they obviously make it down there, there's a little spot down the back. And this is where you come and buy it. You can sit out and have a glass. I do that. Whoosh. I could get an Uber up here. And have an afternoon on the piss. <laughs> and then get an Uber home. And sleep it off for five days. Look at this place. This is this is just what supplies my Friday and Saturday nights. <laughs> Everybody needs advice. I've got wine and coffee. And I, I've got some of the best coffee shops and cafes you could ever wish to have on your doorstep right here in my little town. I think I've uh, pulled a blinder. Right, so what we're going to do is just bimble through here because it's nice. I want to go slow. Often you just need to stop and smell the roses, don't you, really? Dadenberg Cube, here it is, I'm going to ride straight into it and have a look. I'll put a link up to this, but in the, in the near future I'm going to come and have a look around it and I'll, I'll bring the camera and I'll show you. But apparently it's a full day out. They do all sorts here. And I've not been up to it before. But I'm going to do. There's an art and exhibition sale here. Look at that. Art, and ex art exhibition. I've put my teeth in. Look at this place. Oh, look at that. It's nice to get up here. What an amazing thing. And you have all sorts going on in there, apparently. And I'm going to go and have a 
My mate Nigel told me all about it and I'm going to go and experience it myself. I'm going to get it arranged. So just here, you can sit out. As you can see, we've got Ah, Salvador Dali sculpture exhibition. Right, that's what this is all about. Oh, God, look at this. Let's pull in here. This car coming up behind. It's a Jag. Nice. Look at these. <laughs> I think this is right. A guy that needs to come and have a look at this. That's us this weekend, I think. Right. Okay, beautiful. Oh, look at these. I better turn her off. I don't think I need that on anymore. 